classification of materials based on forbidden gap. Forbidden gap plays a major role for determining the electrical conductivity of materials. Based on the forbidden gap materials are classified into three types. They are insulators, conductors, semiconductors. Now let's look into insulators. The materials which does not allow the flow of electric current through them are called as insulators. Insulators are also called as poor conductors of electricity. Normally in insulators the valence band is fully occupied with electrons due to sharing of outermost orbit electrons with the neighboring atoms. Whereas conduction band is empty that is no electrons are present in conduction band. The forbidden gap between the valence band and conduction band is very large in insulators. The energy gap of insulator is approximately equal to 15 electron volts EV. The electrons in valence band cannot move because they are locked up between the atoms. In order to move the valence band electrons into the conduction band, large amount of external energy is applied which is equal to the forbidden gap. But in insulators, this is practically impossible to move the valence band electrons into conduction band. Rubber, wood, diamond, plastic are some examples of insulators. Insulators such as plastics are used for coating of electrical wires. These insulators prevent the flow of electricity to unwanted points and protect us from electric shocks. Conductors The materials which easily allows the flow of electric current through them are called conductors. Metals such as copper, silver, iron, aluminium, etc. are good conductors of electricity. In a conductor, valence band and conduction band overlap each other. Therefore, there is no forbidden gap in a conductor. A small amount of applied external energy provides enough energy for the valence band electrons to move into conduction band. Therefore, more number of valence band electrons can easily move into the conduction band. When valence band electrons move to conduction band, they become free electrons. The electrons present in the conduction band are not attached to the nucleus of an atom. In conductors, large number of electrons are present in conduction band at room temperature. That is, conduction band is almost full with electrons. Whereas valence band is practically occupied with electrons. The electrons present in the conduction band moves freely by carrying the electric current from one point to other. Now let's look into semiconductors. The material which has electricity conductivity between that of a conductor and an insulator is called a semiconductor. Silicon, germanium and graphite are some examples of semiconductors. In semiconductors, the forbidden gap between valence band and conduction band is very small. It has a forbidden gap of about 1 electronic volt EV. At low temperature, the valence band is completely occupied with electrons and conduction band is empty because the electrons in the valence band does not have enough energy to move into conduction band. Therefore, semiconductor behaves as an insulator at low temperature. However, at room temperature, some of the electrons in valence band gains enough energy in the form of heat and moves into conduction band. When the temperature goes on increasing, the number of valence band electrons moving into conduction band also increases. This shows that electrical conductivity of the semiconductor increases with increase in temperature. That is, a semiconductor has negative temperature coefficient of resistance. The resistance of semiconductor decreases with increase in temperature. 